Hello, this is Mark, and tonight I'm going to be doing a quick test of my partially built Mendel web wrap. Um, I have the stepper motors installed and wired up. Um, I also have the end stops. I'm using little uh, micro switches at the end, which is a knobhead's trick. Um, I don't have a uh, extruder yet. You can see the uh, x-axis carry just sitting there looking very lonely, but I will be putting that on next. Um, for the electronics, I'm using Repic, which is my uh, custom electronics. It's an all-in-one board. The whole idea is to pare back the electronics to the absolute minimum, keep the cost as low as I can. And for that board, I also uh, am using the Repic host software, which is needed to control it, because it doesn't use the serial link that the official RepRap Electronics uses. Uh, I've replaced that with the USB link. So, let's get started. Um, first thing to do is to plug in the USB cable. Um, I just have a little temporary connector here for the power. I'm just using a, uh, a very cheap little transformer, but it'll be enough for the test that I have to do at the moment. Um, I'll start off by doing uh, a couple of little tests of those uh, end stops, as I showed you before. There's a little switch there, and if I go back to my host software, uh, at the moment it's in print mode, so I'll switch that over to hardware test mode. And you can see these uh, little indicators along the right here uh, will tell you when the end stops have been hit. Currently the z-axis is uh, at its maximum. So let me just uh, start by toggling the one on the x-axis. That seems to work. And if I go to the back of the machine, I have one on the y-axis, that seems to work. And the z-axis actually isn't that easy to move, so I'll, uh, I'll have to move that under motor control, uh, which is what I'll do next. These little buttons here, when I press those, I get motion. So, going back to the machine, here's a test of the x-axis. Notice how quiet it is. I'm running... Uh, Micro stepping mode one sixteenth. It's just really quiet. Okay, so the y axis test. Okay, and the z axis. Now the z axis, <coughs> it's a little bit hard to see. So I'll have to zoom into the actual knot. There's one there, there's another one over on this side. So I can get the camera in. There we go. And when they're on, the entire x axis moves up. So probably you can see it a little bit better. If I get in close, you can see it coming down onto its, uh, onto its end stop. I'm not moving them very fast at the moment. Um, this is just really the first night I've got the, uh, the hardware working. So I just want to do a few more tests and I'll probably run it pretty slow at the start anyway just to uh, just so I can you know hopefully print off a couple of uh, gears just in case I uh, eventually break one when I'm running it at high speed but yeah I'm uh, pretty happy with the way it's looking at the moment uh, next stage will be to add the extruder and also have to start working on some of the timing code um, so that I can accurately time uh, the motion of these axes and get them all synchronized. Um, the uh, the host software here also has a virtual Mendel mode where I can uh, I can visualize prints before I commit them to plastic. But uh, I'll save that for another video. Uh, if you look at my username on RepRap, um, I think you can see a video of it working anyway. So yeah, so that's uh, the test of my Mendel. See ya.